that's my favorite version of the Clock Town theme. What's your favorite version, guys? Day one. I kind of like the uh, the manic pace of day three. Hi, Grandma. You're badass. Okay, take off that mask. Put on that one. Hi! Sure. Which story would we like to hear? Um, do the Carnival of Time one first, because the four giants cost us the entire day. Okay. Are we going to be able to hear about the, uh, the other one? Yes. Yeah, she won't let you read on day three, because you can't, because otherwise you could do the giants one, and then you would get jumped to what would be day four in the end of the game, so... Oh, okay, I see what you're saying. We'll just read this now, and then we'll, uh... Did you... Oh, you forgot to put the mask on. No, I didn't. Yeah, you did. Look at his face. I, I had it on, though. Uh, maybe? She is still talking. I'm gonna assume this is Project 64. Just being... You know... Oh, so we did. All right, now. Yay! We got grandma candy. Okay. It's a lot of grandma candy. Don't go eating it all at once now. So do we ask for the other story now? Um, I would say, yes. yeah. Okay. Yeah, read it with gusto. Is it supposed to just go in to a screen like this? Don't no. Know. No, it is absolute There is supposed to be um like a like a JPEG that pops up of that of like a festive like there's supposed to be like for the Carnival of Time one, there's supposed to be like a little JPEG that pops up of like the uh of like a carnival scene. Okay, that's what I thought. I'll add it in post. Yeah, you should be fine to actually go look up things about this game once we're done with this session now. You know what? That's probably what this like what's in like memory as the pause screen when Faye went to go swap masks. Yeah. Well, you fucked it up. If you say I, if you say that you don't know, she'll give you a piece of heart. Oh. But I'm a good boy. But you could have been a better boy by not paying attention to the story. Okay. Should I go get some Chateau Romani? Yeah. Yeah, let's go dance so, uh, with the uh, Scarecrow and just skip to evening. Although we still need 10 rupees to get the uh, Chateau Romani because it's 200. Uh, we can't exactly get the 10 from in here. Oh, whatever. Let's just go to the bank. Or, no, we can go to North Clock Town. Uh, yeah, there'd be some rupees up there, too. 
There you go, Fate. There is one person in this world that you didn't make happy because you didn't lie to Grandma. What? Yeah. I'm not joking. It's like, that's the actual way that you make her happy and finish off her quest in the Bomber's Notebook. Yeah, but you since... You lie to her. Well, maybe not so much lie as be like, yeah, I didn't actually listen to your story. But I was listening to the story. I paid attention like a good child. And that was your mistake. Um, you, you, gotta, you gotta make her feel like she's helping you learn. Where is a good place to get rupees around here? Just leave and come back in and go kill that grass again. Either that or we just go to the bank. For five rupees, Argate? Yes. Look, we got time. You, also, you could also use your spin attack and you can kill like seven of the grass at once. That's true. Where is the grass? There it is. Eh. Creep up super slowly to this grass. Well, yeah, you gotta ambush them. You don't you don't want them to know you're coming. It's true. Yeah, there you go. And look, we have more rupees than we need. That'll Circling be Circling my prey, as is tradition. <laughs> That'll be enough to tip your uh, bartender. All yeah. Right, all right, um, to the general shop now. West clock down, Faye. Shut up, that's why. Eh, I'll just walk through Clock Town. As opposed to biking through Clock Town? Yes. I mean, I could roll. She's ah. not wrong. Yeah, fair. I, ha I have the Goron mask. Hi, buddy. We don't have to worry about the business scrub coming down in and interrupting us anymore, so... General shop here. Yes. And then we talk to our seagull friend. Sure, let's dance. So there's, there's uh, Saria's song. That there's another copyright ding for you. No, that doesn't normally... I know Song no, of the Storm it's... specifically does, and that was the only one I actually remembered. Yeah, Song of Storms and the Clock Town music, specifically day one. <laughs> Doors! Um, d -d 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 because I haven't written it down... Because I don't have my book. Uh, what's the safe state button again? It's F5, isn't it? Why don't you go to system and double check that before... Like, you use the menu button to do that. Yes, F5, load state, F7. Yeah, that... okay. That seems like the sort of thing we maybe probably shouldn't get wrong right now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> anyway. Uh, milk bar... Uh, proof of membership. I mean, they're not open for business yet, so... Bump. Are they not? They open at like 9 or 10. They open at 10. They might, they might let you do it. Oh, oh so they will. Wow, okay. So is it just right. a speak to a shopkeeper, is it? Let's let's have a drink. Oh, what a nice man. Let's have the good stuff. Yeah. Nyom.
Okay, so we need to be in b b b b b yeah. Yep. Now we just kind of chill and wait for uh, midnight. Yeah, it's almost time for the end of the world special. Yay! Should I drink my milk now? Yes. It doesn't matter when you do because you'll just have infinite magic for the rest of the cycle. Yeah. Oh, I should have caught some fairies. No, that's not necessary. We'll be fine. There is a reason we are calling this the victory lap version of the end game. Okay. And it's not just because we actually have infinite magic now. Uh, so what stuff will I need on my buttons? Okay, so you know how all of the kids on the uh, moon, they, they wanted you to play their little games and you'd give them masks? Yeah. Okay, we're going to do all of them. So, okay. yeah, put put a bunch of random masks on your, uh, your hot bar. Yeah, right. The ones that we don't give a shit about. Yeah, so you can't give them oh. these masks, can you? No. No. You, you'll, you're especially going to need the DQ mask, because what if you well, need we... to go into that one random flower in the Majora room? Yeah, well, we what? Need... Well, we need the ocarina, because we have to play the Oath to Order. Oh, shit, yeah. We should probably also have it written down, since you don't have the Majora notebook on hand. Um... Right down A, down right up. Okay, can one of you remember that? Yeah, that's easy. Yeah, you can, you, you can just kind of roll your thumb around the the right side, starting from the right, going down, and then all the way up. If that makes sense. Right down A. Down right up. I will probably forget it immediately. I do not have a good brain for sequences. That's okay. That's what we're here for. So anyway, what have you guys been up to? Um, I got a three or a, a DS capture card. Neat. Had to hack out a lot of plastic, but it works. Nice. I now own Princess Maker 5. I, uh, I, I beat Tokyo Zanadu. That was fun. I, I got a nose piercing that I won't shut up about. <laughs> you got a nose piercing that you, uh, accidentally, uh, hurt yourself with earlier today. Yeah, we're, we're recording this session a little late because I was like, okay, guys, hold on. I can't record just yet. I'm dealing with a minor emergency. I was brushing my hair, caught it on my piercing, and now it's bleeding. I only got it two days ago. I'm surprised it took you two days to find a way to kill yourself with it. <laughs> I mean, the way I see it is that it didn't hurt that much when I got it, so, so, like, the world has to find some way to cause me pain. Okay, you were due for it, is what you were saying. Yeah. Let's see. Like, it really doesn't hurt that much. I was surprised. And then, like... All the members of my family are like, uh, you look like a bull. <laughs> uh, let's see. I mean, maybe that's your brand. What do they know? I mean, I am stubborn at char and charge at people who I don't like. And if you wave fabric in my general direction, I get mad. <laughs> I found out the other day that you can use a phone as a like a VR headset, like with your computer. Oh yeah, my sister has one of those. Yeah, but you can use it as like an Oculus Rift uh, thing on your computer. Yeah. Yeah, my sister's boyfriend does that. It's it works a lot better than uh, you'd expect. It's probably a real drain on the battery though. Yeah, I just kind of had to have my phone tethered to my computer while I was playing around with it earlier. But, it, but what about, like, the hands? Uh, I do not have VR controllers, so I just kind of have to hope that the, whatever I'm doing works with the PS4 controller. 
So, which means I cannot play like uh, tabletop sim in VR. Yeah, so the only thing you'd really be able to play would be like, you know, on rails horror games or something. Yeah. But like, why would you play horror games in VR anyway? I mean, I've heard Resident Evil 7 is pretty good that way. Yeah, I've heard that okay. too. So we play it here, don't we? No, we gotta go no, up. No, you have to go upstairs. I do want to sit and listen to Final Hours a little more, but... That's okay, you can go find that on YouTube later. Stupid fairy. Did we ever decide which one was Tartle and which one of you was Tail? Uh, you mean between the two of us? Yeah. I thought we decided that he was Navi and I was Tattle. Yeah, I thought we figured this out, like, two years ago. Why'd he scream? I mean, how else do you summon, uh, the moon? Okay, so... Uh... Right, down, A. Down, down right, right, up. There you go. I remembered it! Also, in celebration of this, my, uh, Nink, Nink, Nink Lenderoid, <laughs> Link Nenderoid is wearing Majora's Mask. Oh no, he's been possessed! He'll be fine. <laughs> Why'd he scream? Like, dude. My dude. I still think they look like giant strawberries. I still appreciate that the audio comes in for this cutscene, like, a full five seconds after it's supposed to. <laughs> oh, that isn't a Project 64 glitch? Well, no, I, I'm pretty sure that's the emulation fucking up, but yeah, though, no, like, this song is supposed to start when they come in, not when it does. Guys are so wiggly. I mean, you try holding up a giant ball of rock. You do know I weight lift, right? <laughs> yes, and? Although they're made of metal. Yeah, and, uh, you're- That's a, the, What they're made of is not the point. The, it's the shape. Also, do your weights just kind of come down at you at, like, terminal velocity? If I accidentally slip on the the pull bar. Okay, but yeah, you're missing the point here. Bars are easy to work with. We're talking about giant orbs. And the fairies are reunited. I like the expedited conversation where Tattle's like, yeah, yeah, I already know, we've done this before. I, I really like when games do that. Oh yeah, we had a little argument, well, I say argument, maybe like four lines of discussion about this. Novel and FP 
we're convinced that Majora is male? Uh, no? I mean, it's, I mean, obviously, it's never, like, confirmed anywhere, but everything... But, like, the laughs and stuff like that are, like... Like, everything that I have ever seen and heard about this and clearly, it's, like, signifies Majora as being a feminine enemy. Yeah, they were convinced that Majora's a dude. Anyway, welcome to bliss.jpg. Over in, if you look over to your right, you'll see Sonic the Hedgehog running with a human princess. I think you made this joke the first time. I'm sure I did. Or maybe Novel made that joke the first time. Hi. Anyway, Hello. let's talk to this creepy naked kid. No, 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 not that, no, no, no. Do not talk hey. to that one. Oh, right, yeah, because he's the one that's like, hey, do you want to go to the moon? What about you? It's lovely weather. Sure. What? Were you trying to You're give him wearing... the one you were wearing? Why are you trying to give him the... First of all, why are you trying to give him the bunny hood? And second of all, you can't give him a mask you're wearing. Okay, what should I give him instead then? Uh, give him the, gar useless. the garbage mask that don't do anything. Yeah, let's get rid of the sack boy. The sack boy? The stone mask. But it doesn't matter. These, th this is fine. Oh yeah. Cut. Whatever. Is it? It doesn't matter. Just don't give him. Don't, don't give them your good ones until you're basically done. Okay. All right. So this is a, this is the twin mold kid. So he'll want four. Uh, what should I give him? I'll give him the stone mask. You, you're a nice person. I mean... They're kids. Don't go in the blue warp, that'll take you back out. Is there any way back in once we've uh, stepped out? No. Magic. That's what I thought. No, Magic. once you've paid to come in, you you have to finish it. So magic and rupees. Those rupees probably would have been hearts. Actually, do we even need to finish these if we uh, want the big prize? Yes. Okay. Because, because you have to, once you finish them, you have to pay them again. Oh, right, I, right. I forgot about that part. And, and you don't get the prize unless you give away all 20 of your masks. Should I equip any of these? Just just keep going. Just keep going. Okay. Hi. Uh, okay. Dang, my shield should protect me against that. Okay. Uh, that didn't give me anything. Okay. I know. It... Thanks, game. <laughs> wow. Like, I mean, these things usually have useless hits, but damn. Yeah, that's the most useless wobbly clock I've ever seen. <laughs> Are you ready to be a flippy boy? I'm always ready to be a flippy boy. I don't know, you don't seem ready to be a flippy boy. Oh, 
do with this boy? You already forgotten how to fight the Garo Master? Yeah. What of uh, it? Hold on, let's see what Tattle thinks. So just dodge those swords. There you go. It's a little bit I find it I find the easy strategy to do is just to backflip when he attacks, but Oh right, I remember this guy. But uh that does require precise time. Whoop. Yeah! I don't have any way of restoring my health, do I? No. That's okay, though. Sure, I'll take it. You can't preemptively hit him. He will block you if you try to attack him. Just keep backflipping. You have to dodge and then hit. Hi. Come on. Pretty nice if he did that teleport again some more. That's that leaves him wide open. Yeah. I wonder. Oh no, I don't have any. Never mind. I thought that would work. Do I just not have the timing on this right? You want to backflip so that he doesn't touch your shield. Yeah. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, he's hitting your shield, which means he bounces off. There you go. Okay, that's, yeah. That's what you're looking for. I was doing it too soon, then. Yeah. What if you just kept backflipping until he, uh, until he missed? Like, don't even just try to- or don't even try to dodge, just backflip like a madman. Okay, okay, just wait for him to- there, hit him. There you go. Well, that works too. Ow. enough. Great. 